always been an artist. I don't ever remember a time when I never made art. I, I've been an artist since I was a small child. My parents encouraged me. I wound up, fortunately, getting into Pratt Institute and I studied fine arts there, painting, sculpture, and printmaking during a time when many of the New York School artists were teaching there. So it was a very vibrant time for art making and I learned an enormous amount. It was very exciting. Um, I'm a photographer and I, I used to shoot with film. I just recently got a digital camera but I used to shoot medium format film and I like that the best of all. Um, so I use my camera as a drawing tool and I also use it to incorporate bits of photography into my work. Other source materials are I forage for maps for antique wallpapers. Behind me is a um, diptych called French Curve 1 and 2 and the inspiration from this came from the interior shots of a Mughal ruin in northern India. And I was very taken with the structure and the building and I started to photograph it extensively. And then from there I made maps of my photographs and extrapolated all of the interior lines, the geometry of the lines, and layered and overlayered. Then I incorporated into that some of the topographical map, but um, I thought it was really important to have a, um, a kind of a juxtaposition between the architecture and the topography or terrain. Being a member of the Elizabeth Foundation has really enabled me to work on a much larger format. I created a large, unique print that was about, I don't know, 120 inches long by about 40 inches wide, which I would have never been able to do if I didn't have a studio because I just didn't have the space to lay it out and put it up and, and look at it. And, and um, I submitted it to IPCNY that has a very active new prints program and I thought, well, I'll never get in, it's a tiny gallery and this is a giant print, it's going to take up an entire wall. But they liked it and um, it, it drew a lot of attention and through that I, my career actually started to move forward. And um, I would say if I didn't have this studio here at the Elizabeth Foundation, I don't think that would have happened. So I feel very fortunate to be here. Hope they'll keep me a few more years. <laughs>